Hello, hello, Valiant Streamer here. Welcome on in, guys. We are back in Worm Online. Well, look, we are back where the cart is. So, oh, the cookies are taking some damage. Let's eat some cookies. Just check the cart. I'm pretty sure the cart is fine. 11.5, no damage. That's incredible. The animals, they're okay. So we're going to do the long haul home. Now, what I haven't done yet again, I forgot to have a look for somewhere to, to look for on the map that's close to where we live now. Let me quickly pull up the Harmony map. Let's go. Harmony, harmony. Harmony. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys saw the other day, but I actually did a live stream. I've done a couple of live streams now, but one of them was showing mine and the wife's proper deed on Melody. So you might want to have a look at that. What you have to do to, to get to that one is when you go onto my YouTube channel, you can click at the top of the lives and it'll be right in there. It's not on for long. I think it's 30 minutes or something. Right. So we are looking for if Selgaunt would be the closest one for us. Selgaunt. Let's kill this preview. We don't need that preview on like so. So, yeah. So we're looking for a place called Selgaunt if we can find it. It's going to be a long trip. This is going to be dangerous, guys. I mean, seriously dangerous because we can't go as fast as when we're running. We may as well put this log in here. I'm splish splashing through the water. So here we go. The long journey home. I don't know how many is on the server currently, but it won't be many. Oh, there's 73 on. Should we say good morning, do you think? Should we? We could try. Let's do that. Let's do that. Why not? Give them a wave. Good morning. Somebody might reply. Thing with Worm is, you can have 200 people on the server and nobody might reply because it's a very... It's a game that you can really play pretty much AFK almost. You set up your actions and away you go. Right, I'm cutting through here. I wonder what that is there. A pile of gate locks. We're not interested. <laughs> this is going to be dodgy. I am very concerned about this journey home. Because... Pretty much everything will hit us. If we're closest to a guard tower, we will be okay. If we're closest to water, we should be okay. But if we're in the middle of the sticks, nowhere near anything, we probably are not going to outrun something if it if it actually wants us. Now, the trip here was fairly uneventful. We got away with a lot. Look, this is what I'm talking about. Look, we're going uphill at seven kilometers an hour. That would be a killer. If there's a hellhound or a troll on your backside and you're going uphill at that speed, you may as well kiss it goodbye. <laughs> right, so we're looking for a road sign to be able to uh, see if we can put in Selgaunt. Selgaunt looks the closest. Let's just look, see if there's any more. I mean, even Crossroads, Thorn, Thorns Point, any of those ones would do. Look how slowly we're going. Look, six kilometers an hour up this hill. It's scary because we do know, if you recall, when we did the last episode, there was there was um, 
several hellhounds on the road that we had to go around. If they're still around, we could be in trouble. I mean, we may end up doing things like... Right now, I don't know if there's another guard tower ahead of us. I don't. So if we got attacked now by a hellhound, I would turn round and run all the way back to the other guard tower. That's all we could do and hope that we would make it. We didn't bring the tent like a doofus and uh, Terry pointed that out as well. They, they're like, oh no, I couldn't believe you didn't have a tent. But we did make it. We did make it here. This is the journey home now. There and back again, as I said. It's it's just hard. We we are living on luck a lot of the times here doing this now. I don't think we're going to get home unscathed. I do not think so. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. We've got our coffee, look. Got it in my granddad's monkey mug. Beautiful. We have our mouth wetner, the old water. I actually drink a lot of water. I really do. Oh, somebody's killed a hellhound there. Somebody has killed one. Thank you, whoever's killed that hellhound. Uh-oh, look, look, look. That's an aged troll. That is not good. That is not good. We have to go past him, I think. Now, I don't know if we're supposed to go up or down. <gasps> oh, it's all right. It's just a mature wildcat on a slut. That's not a problem. That we can outrun. Oh, that troll's right by the sign. I can't really check it. Don't see a tower around. Oh my goodness, looky, looky, two age trolls. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to try and go around them. Oh I don't think this is the way. I think we need to go the other way. To be honest with you, I, I really think we need to go past those trolls. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to risk all. This is like armour off pants down stuff here. If we get if we get attacked now, we are in absolute a world of pain. And a big potential of death. That, I think, is the road we need to be on, I think. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, there is. I didn't think there was cat's eyes on it. All right, so we're... Oh, have I just seen a bear? Oh, my goodness. Now there's a brown bear there. This is really not good. I can't get it a signpost yet to see if we're going the right way. I think we are. My basic, like my basic instincts are telling me this is the right way. Not here. I don't think this is. I don't think that is. But I could be incorrect. There's a signpost here, but we've got to watch. That bear will get us. I've got to be careful. Oh, shit, he has got us. The bear has us. Where's that say? Oh, my God. Oh, there's a hellhound up there. I don't recall that. Oh, Catspur was here. Okay, we've left the bear. Right, I don't believe we go this way. I'm actually lost and we can't go to that signpost. We've got Friesland. I saw a hellhound up there too. I really am not sure, guys. I mean, I'm really not sure. We're coming up to a big desert. Let's take a look at the map. Because we know we're down here somewhere towards the bottom still. The big desert. Well, maybe. Maybe. Let's head down this way. 
I don't feel like this is the way. Oh, there is a guard tower here, though. Okay, that is a big deal. Maybe we could drag that bear down to the guard tower. We could try and drag the bear down to the guard tower, get rid of him so we can look at the sign up here. I don't want to be going the wrong way. There's so many cat's eyes going different ways here. I think there's four directions. Where's that bear gone now? There. Can we actually... Can we actually sneak past? I'm going to doubt it. But there was a hellhound up there I saw as well. Oh, we might just have got past the bear. There's the hellhound up there on the road. Come on. Let's be quick. Find a route, please. We want to find Selgaunt if we possibly can. Selgaunt would be absolutely perfect. It's not on here. Selgaunt is not on here, look. That's frustrating. What about Crossroads? No, let's go for Thorns Point. I'm sure Thorns Point will be on here, right? Thorns Retreat. Thorns Retreat is close enough for me. We're going to go to Thorns Retreat. That's close enough. Send. Oh, and look, we was wrong. We would have been going wrong. It's, oh, it's past this hellhound. So we're going to have to uh, try and get past this thing. I'm not going to risk just running into it. I'm not. It's too much damage. They're too fast. They hit all the time. And I'm naked. I have no armor on. I've got no combat skill as such. I don't see it coming, but I've also got to keep my eye on where I'm heading. I know where there's a guard tower now, for, for now. All right. All right. My mouth is so dry. Okay, we're past it. So we've seen a dead hellhound. We've seen that hellhound back there. But I know we saw about four, didn't we? All right, we're on the road again. Now it'll be hard to go back to that guard tower. So now I'm going to close off the harmony map totally. Gone. All gone. Let's put it so I can see my timer there. I wonder, I don't even know if we'll make it back all the way in an hour. Something's been killed there. That was an aged troll's corpse that someone had butchered. Let's try and stay down the middle of the road the best we can. So I'm just trying to see if I can highlight anything. But I can't. Let's see if this coffee's good enough to have a put. If something hits me, I'm spilling my coffee on me, I'm telling you. Well, that's good. Something there died. An aged unicorn. Someone has unicorn blood on their hands. Yeah. Good luck to you if you have to put your tooth under your pillar for the tooth fairy. <laughs> okay. Right, I didn't really think to look how many tiles we were away, but it started off, I'm sure, when we did it on the way here, it was like 3,400 tiles. So far, we're doing okay, simply because I'm always very aware of my surroundings. I'm, I'm always looking for the next guard tower for a bit of safety. I'm trying to look at the roads ahead. Is that a hellhound up there? It was, look. Right, how far away did it say? 2,881. I have to remember, 
Thorn's retreat is a few hundred tiles still from from Hearth and Home, our our place. I prefer it like to see here because we can see. We can actually see. As we get here, look, things get really a lot more dicey. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great weekend and a, new, a start to the new week. The day you will see this is actually Wednesday. I'm recording this on uh, on the Monday, actually. A bit of a sharp turn, that is there. A bit of a sharp turn. Could have made the road go over there at, at a, an angle to cut a lot of this corner off. But oh well. It is what it is, right? One of my favourite sayings. Or oh, time will tell. Look at all those trees look. I can guarantee there's mobs hiding about in them. Gotta keep my eye on my stamina here. Now you can carry on. There's a spider down there. You can carry on commanding a cart with zero stamina. But the thing is, when you have zero stamina, you can't kind of block or evade or dodge attacks. You pretty much get hit every time they swing at you. There's a spider there, but there is a guard tower here, because I can see the guard. But I can't see the tower. And remember, we have to be... X amount... Oh, wow, this is not going to be easy to get past. And I can't see the tower. See, sometimes guards wonder, far and wide, they really do, away from the tower. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up here and away from this spider. I'm going to try. Because I can't I can't see the guard tower still. Okay. Looks like we've uh, managed to snivel our way past the spider. Now bear in mind in this in in worm you can't, can't go up a slope that's higher than 40. Like, see here, you can see this is going to be higher than 40. So if I go, oh, actually, it wasn't higher than 40. Wow, for real? I'll just go check the slope now. It's exactly 40. <laughs> but if that was more than 40 slope down, I, I wouldn't be able to go down it on the cart. You, It would just stick there. That would, like here, this is definitely higher look. So, what the f... What? My eyes, my eyes, they're bleeding. It's 39. That looks much higher than 40. There, look, I can't get... All right, so this next one then. I want to check now. I want to show that I'm not telling you porky pies. 39. This one. 40. This is crazy. I give up. I give up. I'm lying. I'm lying, guys. Honestly. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. They all looked. They looked much higher than 40. Like, at least 50 they looked to me. Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. I've been playing some Final Fantasy 14. First time I've ever played it. And... Obviously, just I've, I don't. If I don't play Worm consistently, and I even have like only play for like five minutes, they go in and do something quick for a few days. So I go back in and I, I'm pressing keys wrong and everything. It's really weird. Okay, we remember this, don't we? This is uh, what I liked, and we're coming to a really, really cool tunnel. Nobody told me who had made it. Obviously, nobody who'd made it watched it or knows who made it. If 
times like this you can relax. You can see there's no mobs around. You can drink your coffee. Wonderful. Yeah, I think this might be longer than an hour, this episode, because I'm not ending the episode until we are safely back on Hearth and Home. Unless we die, of course. Unless we die. In which case, yeah, that would be rough. I think between this bridge and the tunnel we're going through, we must, we must get rid of maybe 300 tiles of the journey maybe 400 I don't know but I know it's quite a way I mean this bridge has got to be what I guess 60 tiles across more more probably one two three four five six and about 60 60 70 tiles across this bridge I would say That's a, a nice long run. Whoever lives around here and did this work does like to take care. Katharina's shed. I wonder if it's somebody called Katharina that did this. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. All right, what we got dead in here? Oh, we got a pheasant in here. Dead guard. Hear the way the echo of the sounds as you walk changes. Some worm sounds I really enjoy. The sound of animals walking, especially horses running. I don't like it. it just, I don't like it. Right, I think we're going to be quite safe going through the tunnel now. We look it. But as you can see, this is a lot of tiles. This tunnel is a lot of tiles. Such a great tunnel as well. My tunnels won't be like this. Mine will be flat roofed, I hope. <laughs> What have we got in the cart? Is it just the log, just in case, wasn't it? Oh, we've got a heap of sand as well. Where did we get that from? I really don't know. But okay, we'll, we'll take it with us for now. We will take it with us. So let me think some of the plans that we're going to be doing on Hearth and Home. It'll be obviously next episode we start to do that if we, get, if we manage to get home. We're going to carry on mining to get to the iron. We need to uncover the iron pretty quickly. I think we might sort out some of the land at the bottom ASAP because we've, we'll have, we've got the BSB back there. We've got the FSB. We'll have the car if we can get this back. Maybe start to make a bit of room and get some farms down and get some farms planted because we're going to need to, to eat. This stuff's not going to last forever. There's a, a young brown cow here. We're also going to need to start thinking about raising our fight skills up a touch. Because we're going to need some meat before long. We need to get a building going. So much to do. Okay. Thorns Retreat, 2,479. Holy moly, we're through the tunnel then. Now we're back on the perilous journey. I remember us going through there. 
we checked this out on the way, didn't we? We went in and I, I explained about the gate protecting. I'm not seeing any towers around. Hmm. Okay, we've got a body of water on our right hand side if we need to use it. Just down there, look. Although I don't think we'd get down there. Look how steep it is. I'm not even going to try to see if it's steeper than 40. You know what they say. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. There's no things there, so it's obviously straight down. <gasps> oh, that, that front bit. An aged, hardened scorpion. Now, scorpions are not too fast in themselves, so it shouldn't be able to catch us. It's seen us. But I believe we'll outrun a scorpion anyway. Even an aged one. See? They're pretty slow. They are pretty slow. We've left him back there. Know thine enemy. Another moo cow. <gasps> There's something there I saw. Is it a troll? Shit. Shit, I've got no choice but to go past him. Look. Okay, there's a body of water down there if we need it. He's going to see me. He's going to come after us, this troll. If he doesn't, I'll be amazed. Oh my gosh, I'm amazed. He's deaf. I can't say he's blind because he had his back to us, but... I've got to be honest, that's got to be one of our lives spent right there. Although, it probably wouldn't have come across the bridge. Bridges are a little bit strange still in Worm. Like, for example, look at the tree clipping right through it. But animals don't tend to cross bridges for some odd reason. You can lead them over and they'll come over, no problem. Alright. We're still going the right way. We are still going the right way. I can see a guard tower down there. When I see a guard tower... It's a welcoming sight. As a new player, a guard tower is a really welcoming sight. Once you uh, are strong enough where you can kill pretty much everything, once you get to the point of you can take down a troll, honestly, guards and guard towers for me, I, I don't like them near me. I, I never build a guard tower. I don't. There's one nearish to us already, so that's fair enough. Right. A little bit more open. When it's more like this, I mean, this is one of the safest places you could be in the game right now, other than on a deed, because you can jump in the water away from most most things, and those that would come in the water for any eight, just take them to the guard tower. Well, it's that Cad... Cad... Cadbury. It's not Cadbury. It's Cadbury. I thought it was Cadbury. <laughs> Cadbury and Draenor. Or Drano. Oh, that's, somebody might have replied. One eyed god said hi. Somebody in local. We'll give them a wave, but whether they'll be looking or not is another thing. Oh, they are. Surge Reds. Hello, hello. I actually did a live stream of Old School RuneScape Saturday evening. Um, that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of people show up in the video. And literally, such nice people they are. I kid you not. Just 
followed me around. They literally walked around behind me like we were doing the conga while I was doing stuff. Oh, look, there he is. There, look. Give him a wave. Hello, how are you? There we go. It's a long, long road. It really is a long, long road. And it does have many a winding turn. Look at this. Oh, up there looks good. Someone's got something nice going on up there, look. It'll be nice. I'll tell you what'll be nice. When we've got some decent fight skill and we're riding around on a horse, we will come out. We will look around some people's buildings. I might even take requests, depending. Depending. I might take some requests on uh, come visit my deed and, and we'll, we'll take a trip to them. Rather than just randomly strolling around. Be nice to go and look at viewers deeds, right? But not yet. Not yet. We're not strong enough. We we've got so much to do. I intend once we get the cart back, next episode, the gloves are off. We're gonna really start skilling and doing some stuff. Someone else in local now called Zegrim. They could be up there, possibly. I won't wave, because if I wave, Serge Red is going to see and think I'm waving him again, thinking I'm Nutter. I might be a Nutter. Some people think I am, I'm sure. An old man like me making videos. Oh, wow, there's a few people here now. Oh, it looks like Peanut. For sure. Peanut gets everywhere. He has deeds everywhere. There we go. There's somebody flying around. Who's that? That is... Zegrim. Look at that. Super fast car. Give him a wave. Hello, how are you? I'm going to go straight through him. Because we're... Uh, we is moving. Someone's building a storage shed over there. Okay, this is the way we're heading. He had hell horses attached to his cart, so it was going very fast. I don't like hell horses. Like I've said before, I never have. Right. I can't recall if I've seen tar near our place, but I haven't brought my shovel to dig any. Unfortunately, can you imagine trying to get your tar with your hands? <laughs> We would be in a right old sticky mess. Was my PC making a... You know when your PC sometimes starts to get warm and the bits of plastic inside like stretch a little bit, make a little clicking noise. And then as your PC cools down, it, it'll click back again. It's strange. I haven't thought to look at a sign for a while to see where we are. Do we think we're under 2,000 tiles yet? I mean, we've been on the road a good time already, believe it or not. Clayton's Villa, Clayton's Mansion. It's quite nice around here, to be honest. It's quite nice. It's one of those places that are kind of just out in the sticks a little bit. It's a bit similar to, to Hearth and Home now. Except we are we're backed on and up a mountain. I think we've seen more people today than we usually see. Our 
traveling around a bit there. Huh? Okay, we're going down this way. This is this is a good job for road signs, because look, you wouldn't know where the heck to go. Oh, I remember this. The four tile wide road. Very odd that they didn't put capsize down the middle. Very odd. I would have had to. It would have done my head in having them off at the side. It would have absolutely played with my mind. Okay, what we got here? Highlander. Anyway, to, I'm, I'm just going to quickly come off the current time. I mentioned we've uh, started playing some Final Fantasy fourteen. We've just created a, a guild, or a free company it's actually called, um, on there. We've only just done it. We're on the Twintania server. There's only four of us. The four people who founded the free company. That's me, my wife, Matt Durana, and Serenity. So if anybody does want to join, join our Discord and let me know. There's plenty of people on Discord now. There's uh, about 100 people in there. Now. So that's, uh, that's not too bad. And there's more joining every single day. So if you're interested to join Discord, at the top of uh, my YouTube channel, there's a banner. You can click Discord there. It's, it's the last icon on the right-hand side. Or you can click About on my channel, and it'll be in there as well. An old starving huge spider rock. We're not going to be able to outrun that. And it saw me. Right, is there a guard tower? There? Okay, there's water down here. We can lose it in the water. Because we've got to go up there. And we're not going to outrun this. There's no guard tower up there that I see, right? No. So what I'm going to do is show you the water trick. So we're going to disembark. And we're going to lead the spider down here. Come, come, come. It's the first time we've had to do this, but otherwise I would have got hit up there. Come on, come on. I've got to lead him away from the car. Come on. So, let's just keep running him away. I could probably outrun him, to be honest, on my own. And get away and back to my car. Should we see if we can do that? We probably can. Being as is an old one. Yeah, we left him. Look. You do pick up knowledge of how to get away from mobs and things like that like honestly a new player would probably have carried on on the cart going the way that they were going uh, and hoping that they'd outrun the spider on the cart but i'm telling you now going uphill like this you wouldn't it would have kept hitting you every so often and whittling away at your health until you was dead new haven bakers look this is this is quite a long hill Going at 10 kilometers up here, you're going to get hit. Believe me, over and over again, you'll get hit. So, yeah, what we did there is a good tip. Just jump off your car so you can run faster before you get hit. Now, if that spider had have hit me when I, before I got off, I would have got off and been limping away at like three or four kilometers an hour. That would not have been good juju. That wouldn't have been good juju at all. But for now, we're keeping, keeping on. Why does it say you ride on the free to anyone? We've changed the name to Valiant's Explorer. So why does it still say 
You ride on the free to anyone as driver. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Statue of a demon there, look. Yeah, trying to scare people. They've probably got goodies inside here somewhere. Look, thorn hedges there. There's something in there. What's up there? Have some water, traveller. Hey, that's very cool. I like that. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Let's have a little drink. There we go. That could have been like something dangerous there. A witch's hovel in there and they're just drawing you in. If we fall asleep now, guys, we know it's the water. Some uh, merchants just randomly out here. How, how far? 1,817. Now you can see what I was talking about. About how slow this journey home was going to be. Because we've been on the road 45 minutes. Holy moly. This might just be a long worm episode. Oh, that noise you just heard there. The bird, it like went, or whatever it was, it's something similar. That is telling you that the farms have just ticked over and are ready to... Wow, look at all the horses. Guys, did we see this many horses and animals on the way? Now we know why we're struggling to find anything, because they're all here. Because a server will only spawn a certain amount of animals, okay? This is how it works. Um... Like, if all of a sudden this person says, right, I've had enough, and he goes around and he kills every single one of these horses, this amount of horses on next spawn will spawn throughout the wild. That's how it is. That's why there's not many animals around anymore, like wild horses. That's the exact reason why people will argue, no, no, it don't work like that. I'm telling you for a fact, for a fact, it does work like that. So when people have tons and tons of horses, which I can understand, they want to do animal breeding. That's what stops the horses freely spawning on on servers. Okay, Derby. That's why a wild horse is really rare to find. We haven't seen a wild horse, have we, since we've been doing our episodes. Not one. Not one. And it is due to, to people... Like this, who have a lot of animals, but as I said, that's part of the game. It is part of the game. As a new player, as a new player, in my opinion, just my opinion now, I think that you should have something that would entitle you to go back to a start a player town or right from when you start, even though you can only drag one horse at a time. And you should, I think, be allowed to go to a stable in the start of town and get maybe a young male and a young female horse. Special, that you can drag both and take them to your deed. Only one time, you only get that one time. But it at least gives you a chance to start something. Otherwise, you, you are relying on getting horses from a breeder as a brand brand new player now they're not good horses they're just standards that i think you should get you're never gonna really a lot of people don't breed i mean they don't so i mean i we've me and Kay, we have quite a few horses on our deed we don't really breed so quite honestly i'm a culprit as well for just having way too many horses on deed that I don't need. It, our horses really are just for show. Honestly, just so they come back. Oh, it's a nice looking stable with some nice horses. But the problem wouldn't be there. That's lovely, that is. That really is lovely. I love the use of the bridge just to make it the pattern be different. But anyway, yeah, the problem wouldn't be there if only horse breeders did the breeding and people like me only had our car animals that were on and the horses we rode 
maybe some bison on our wagon and then if if one dies then go to a horse breeder and buy a new one that would solve it but it's never going to happen it's never going to happen unfortunately but but there would then be some animals in the wild horse breeders would be able to sell their animals much easier because from what i know people nowadays only buy the tip top animals that's it anything that's uh like a, a three speed and stuff like that people either tend to try and give them away now and again or they just put them in a field and just leave them there to age and die on their own which can take months but it is what it is it's it is part of the game and, and how the mechanics work there we go oh that's a stein i can't even mm. okay let's try stein off and Wacknenstern. No idea. I can't read that. I can't read that. Absolute crazy. I can't read that. I don't know. Is that even a word? Is it one word? Is it multiple words put together? Antigravitus. Does that say comedian harmonitis or something? I can't read it. I'm moving too quick. says comedium harmonists appreciation okay now i never know i could know i could do that <laughs> i just saw the little arrow there ah, okay well I haven't really been concentrating on the road at all. I've just been chit-chatting about animals. So I'm going to imagine we've made a bit of progress. And I've blindly, you know, just just blindly been following the road. I still think we're absolutely miles from home. Really, I... I thought this would take a while. I'd love to see where we are after the full hour. But we, we must continue. We must get home. There's a, a lack of mobs, thankfully, at the moment. Okay, this is the way. How far now? 1,482, so I think, let's think, I think we're, we're well over halfway back now. I think so. It's been fairly uneventful. How long's left of the Christmas? Two days, two hours is left of the Christmas event. It's too long. In my opinion, it's too long. Oh, no. A venerable hardened troll right in the middle of the road no towers in sight we are gonna hop off the road hope that there's nothing around in the bushes here in the trees not easy to see can't really see very much at all these trees are too low and we're too high off the ground I'm hoping we're far enough away from him on the right. This looks incredibly steep. We might, we're not getting up there. Here we can. Are we going too close to the troll? I don't actually know where he is. He's there somewhere. There he is. Look, there he is. We're past him. Whew. Apologies if you can hear next door's dog going absolutely ballistic as usual. I, I truly love dogs. We have a dog ourselves. You guys never hear my dog. You never hear my dog. One day, I think I, I may have, on one of the early videos, I may have uh, shown my dog. 
His name is Tanner. He's a he's a beagle. He's a, a tan coloured beagle, and he is such fun. He's so well behaved. He likes to sleep a lot. He loves to sleep a lot. Okay. Oh, every second. Remember, every second we're getting closer to home. We're putting tiles behind us. I do hope, for those of you that don't play Worm, you can appreciate just how big these worlds are. You must bear in mind, we, we haven't even been around the world at all. We've been... Let's have a look. Oh no. A mature troll now. I can't sort this out for a minute. I can't show you about it for a minute. We need to... Uh, we need to get off the road! Get off the road now! Oh, there's an old black wolf there as well. Oh, Val's got his eye in, but I can't see when it's... At some point, I can't see. Okay, there's the wolf. It's it's moving. It's not coming towards us. It's just walking. But we need to start to make our way back up towards the road now, I think. Come on. I've been playing this game for such a long time, I do have a decent, decent sense of direction. Okay, there's the mature troll, look. So we're past him. Oh, but we're not getting up here, I don't think. Look, we're not getting up here. There's no way our cart's getting... Look, see, we can't get up. We've got to hope to find a way up. We're getting, we're getting worse and worse off here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is where you get yourself into trouble. And you sometimes begin panicking. Okay, perhaps we can get this to here. I don't know. Nope. Okay, it looked a bit better ahead. Alright, we're up. The mature troll is behind us, and we are back on the road on the road again all right quick drink to wet the whistle that wetting the whistle for me is like a quarter of a bottle of water i can't just like have a sip i can't just have one sip i have to uh i have to drink some There is a drawback to that, guys. There is a drawback. Needing a pee. You guys may not... You guys may think, Do you know what? You never see this guy go, the, go, go to the loo on his videos ever. But then again, they're only an hour-long video. If you suddenly see me jump a little bit on, on the... Uh, on camera... It's not quite marrying up too good. That's generally because I've got to go and put a quick pee. And I've at the end of the video, when I edit it, I cut it out and just rejoin it. All right. Oh, that made me jump. That is saying five minutes till the hour is up. Reichland. What's that say? Of a layout. We've got 1,240. Wow, we've only done 200 tiles since we last checked. I think we've still got a bit of time to go. Five more minutes, I think, might take us to just under a thousand tiles to go. I think. I think if we're lucky, if we're lucky. We'll be back at Hearth and Home in about 20 minutes. But I think that's if we're lucky. This, we've been lucky with this, right? With how slow we're heading up this hill, 6 kilometers an hour, 
we've been lucky that we don't have anything on our ass. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, it's dead. I was about to say, oh my God, we've just hit a spider right at the top of the hill. But thank goodness it was a dead one. Because on the journey here, if you recall, we went through big spaces where there was no guard towers. I haven't seen a guard tower in ages, have you? Nope. It's been a long time since I've seen a guard tower. So there'd be no point in going backwards. Now, I don't know where the water is. If there is any water in relation to us, I would probably guess... It's down that way somewhere. Why would I guess that? Because the natural hillside is coming downwards. Generally it goes down towards water. So that would be my guess that was some water on our left side. Somewhere. But it could it could be a hundred tiles away for all I know. So if I was under real duress now mobs all over me i would be looking for a way to get down there and head to the left because i don't i'm not seeing any guard towers ahead i wouldn't be able to risk guard towers here's another good tip if you're trying to get away from something and you are on a cart if you can happen to find a patch of clay or a patch of tar mobs will get slowed down by those if you're on foot you will get horrifically slowed down by those but if you go over on a cart you do not get slowed so if you drag mobs over the top of a big patch of clay or something they'll tend to go so slow you'll you'll put enough distance between you and them for them to lose aggression on you that is a good tip Let's eat some of this uh, chocolate cookie. Oh, another spider there, but it's it's dead, thankfully. I can't believe... See, now I'm worried because there could still be water that way, but we're seeing mountains there. We're in a bit of a, a pickle spot, quite honestly. This is a, what I call a pickle spot. I, w I don't know if there's water that way. Looking over there, look, I can just see mountains. So we couldn't go that way now. I'm pretty certain it's mountains that way. We're in the middle of a... This is a rough spot for us. No guard tower ahead. No guard tower behind. We would be living on lady luck if we got attacked now. Just moving and running. And hoping for the best. This is a rough, rough spot for us. A lovely spot for a deed. You could do something really nice there. There's a spider way over there. And another one. Something else there I saw as well, but I didn't catch it. Oh, are we going the right way? Yes. It's like now. I could do with a P now. But. There's absolutely no way I can leave the PC right now. I'm in too, too dangerous of a spot. So we've just got to keep on running. There's plenty of corpses around. Look. I can't remember if these were here before. They probably were. Oh, look. Lucky, lucky. That's a welcome insight to my eyes. Lagarde Tower. That is a welcoming sight. Let's see who made this one and give them thanks. This is the first one we've seen for, quite honestly, a few hundred tiles. Now, you can only build guard towers. I've said this before. They have to be 50 tiles apart. 
This is, oh, it's one by Yaros. If I remember correctly, don't we come across another one by Yaros as well? And last time it says Yaros, thank you so much. So again, Yaros, thank you so much. As a, as a new player, a guard tower is such a welcoming, reassuring site. These guards are very, very underrated for, for new players. They're lifesavers, quite honestly. Okay, we're going up that way. How far? 974. We are at the hour. We have done one hour. Yeah. Okay. I've got no choice. I'm going to click him. We're in local. We're going to call the guards on him. So we could... we. We will be able to walk past and look that guard there is already going so is this one that's what i'm saying they're so underrated they're going to fight him now and the troll will pay us no heed as we go past because he's busy fighting potentially he'll kill that one guard which is a shame but i could call some more guards there's more guards back there that would come and help but I would be worried then if something happened just up here and I had to run back. If all the guards were busy fighting him and I call the guards, the guards won't come. They won't come off the current target until the current target's dead. So, the guards are, are doing what they're, they're paid for now. And they've saved us some hassle. And we are still mooching on ahead. I know we're not getting anything made or created or changing land. Let's see. There's another troll there. We're in Trollsville, I think. We know there's a guard tower behind. Worst case scenario to drag it to. But hopefully we won't have to. As I say, I know we're not getting anything crafted or we're not doing any terraforming, mining, nothing to our deed at the moment. Hearth and Home is still sitting as it was. However, we will. I promise we will. Soon. Next episode we'll be back. We'll be back this episode. But next episode we'll be back. And we will be starting some proper work. We won't be moving again. I'm truly excited about this place. But I did want to come back and get our car. We could have made another one. Of course we could have. And this episode. We could have made it last episode. And this episode we could have been building and stuff but this was kind of exciting but it's nice to travel it is nice to travel so many people don't leave their deeds trust me they don't i know from experience very many people don't leave this or if they do they only really go out onto their perimeter because they kind of when they build the deeds they make sure they have everything there i prefer to go out and travel around a bit i, I do enjoy it Sometimes I do like to just stay on deed. We will be on deed for a good time, I think. But things like clay, tar, we're going to have to go off deed to go. In fact, the tar, I, do you know what? I says oh, I haven't seen tar around. I just realised there's, there's a big lump of tar right by the guard tower near our, near our deed. Clay is a little bit further out haven't seen Pete. I ain't seen Pete for ages. But now I haven't seen Pete around. I haven't seen any moss. I don't generally use moss for much, if anything. What do you reckon? Oh, it's a dead one. What do you reckon, guys? you reckon we're at about 800 tiles now? But that is only still... Bear that in mind. Bear this in mind. That's only to Thorn's Retreat. We still have 
probably 200 tiles or more from Thorn's Retreat to Hearth and Home. We are moving. Uh, listen, folks, as you guys know as well, I have started a Patreon up. Uh, so if you do want to support me that little bit extra, you can go on there and set up a, a Patreon for me. You do get uh, some perks. You get your name at the end of every video. You'll see. Not me saying it. It'll actually come up with a little bit of music as well with your name on there. So if you wait till the end of this, you'll see who currently is are my patrons um and also if you join discord as well you get special ranks in discord i've just actually made all the patrons i asked if they were interested in moderating my youtube channel in particular because i'm doing some lives now as well and I do need some moderators. So I've got a few of the patrons as moderators of my YouTube channel too. And that's pretty useful. And I'd say you do get some special ranks. I think it's uh, Knight is the first rank. Lord Lady is the second rank. And Duke and Duchess is the top rank. So yeah, if you're interested... There's that, but do make sure to stay till the end anyway, just to see who is supporting me and, and helping me keep doing these videos. So you'll be able to see. And the, uh, the pretty icons, pictures, whatever you want to call them, that are on the Discord choice, uh, are on the Patreon choices. They're done by, by my good friend uh, Matt Durana for me. He made those. He made all my uh, Valiance logos, everything to do with my like branding name. They did it all. Superstar Matt Durana. I, I couldn't tell if that was a troll there. Okay, there's a Kingdom banner down here, so there might potentially be. A tower somewhere, I don't know. I feel like we're going through another patch where there's nothing around. Thorns Retreat, 658. Okay, that's a little bit less than I thought. That's a little bit less than I thought. Oh, we're going through a desert now. Deserts are renowned, renowned for having crocodiles, for having scorpions, for having anacondas. So we've got to have our wits about us now. There's a scorpion, look. Deserts are usually very, very dangerous. In fact, I would say a desert is the most dangerous place you can uh, come up to. This one, look at all the scorpions over there, look. There's a lot over there. We've just got to be careful. Alligators, I mean crocs, I should say, those things move. There is a guard tower over there, should we have need. An old scorpion is quite close to the road, but as I said, that there's one there very close and aged. But we should be okay. We should be alright. There is a, a big pen here. The scorpion would not be able to get in now. Anaconda, that's a different kettle of fish. Those suckers move fast. There's, there's a croc. I'm actually going to veer off the road a little, simply because I'm scared of the anaconda. They move so fast. If you go into the grass, you can't see them. And they move quick. 
<gasps> shit. An aged pro Oh, God, it's got me. All right, so. If it hits me, it's going to really, really hurt. Oh, whoever's made this has only put the one... Oh, no, there's a gate there. Maybe we can do something here. There's a few gates, look. But they're all this side. They're all this side. What they need is, look, the crap can't get in. But they needed gates over there. What have they done? If they had gates there, I could go out there. Okay, so all we can try is to come right down to this bottom gate here. Have a drink. Is there even any water in here? No. Done. So, I'm trying to scoot around here. Okay, we've left the croc. We've left the croc. The anaconda's out there. Oof. Okay, there's another little pen here. Really speaking, what they needed to do, see here, is if they'd have made a gate there, it would have been far easier. Far easier just to get away from things. Right, that is a welcome sight because now we'll head that way. Look at the scorpions here, guys. Look, this is where you see the hunting grounds. Scary, scary, scary. But if you've got some combat skill, you come here. This is a playground. This is a playground. These things can drop cock and eels. And uh, you want to collect those. They drop meat as well. Uh, sometimes I think eyes. But the cochineals are used to make red dye. If you can get high quality ones, awesome. Look at the different colours, right? See that? That's a plain normal scorpion look. An aged scorpion. It's like the, the kind of bronze colour. If you look at the one over there, it's more of a, an orangey colour. Because it's a fierce one. That means it's a lot tougher. Oof, look at the mobs. I can outrun the scorps. I can. The crocs I'm scared of because they're, they're fast. If you come across an alert mob, I'm telling you right here, right now, you will not outrun an alert mob. You have to deal with it and do something about it. Oh, see that? Look at that. Would you believe that? An aged alert scorpion. I'm going to sick some guards on that one. I'm going to actually put the guards on it. Okay, those two there. They're going to attack. See, if you so it's only those two going in. So there's one spare, two. There's three spares. That means this this is at least fifty plus quality. That's made by lovely and, and decaf. We may have to call them on this old croc. I'm going to attempt to go around it. Because there's a chance I can get around this one. If I was, again, if I just call the mobs, the, the, the guards there, it leaves me with only one guard left to help me out. I mean, if I, if I suddenly crest the hill here and there's another one, I'll have to call the guards anyway. I think we're all right. Those guards have got that. that scorpions hurt. It's just a fact. Would you believe that I mentioned a, an alert? And there was an alert. Alerts move faster. And they give up. The, they, they aggro from further. So it's so difficult to lose their aggro. It really is. Okay, that scorp has seen me. Like I say, I'm not that worried about scorpions unless they're an alert. Because <laughs> they're slow. Look. They are slow. In particular, venerables. Venerables, like, they're going around with Zimmer frames, so... <laughs> yeah. But do not kid yourself when you get a venerable hellhound on you. They can still move with considerable speed okay it looks like we've passed the desert now they could still still they could still still 
there could still be some crocodiles and scorpions kind of in the woods for a little while where they've wandered on in off the desert so we've still got to be a little bit aware what do we think do we think we're around 400 from thorns retreat now i'm feeling like we're getting him that scorpion's almost dead look we can still see its health from here there look all the way back there and it's down the guards did the job well done guards the world is safer from one more alert scorpion Oh, this has been a journey, guys. This has been a real journey. If you put together the hour and whatever it was video to get where we were going before. Oh, no. See what I mean? An aged anaconda right there. I was... Oh, no. I think it's seen me. I think that's seen me the way that's moving. If it has, I'm not going to outrun it. That could be. Or is it? It is. It's coming. Shit. All right, guys. I might have to turn back to the guard tower in the desert. We're going to see. As you'll see when I turn around, I might not see it in the grass. I can't see it, but it's there. It is. Look, there it is. Oh, God. There's a croc there. Oh, my God. A fierce one guard tower there's a guard tower right here lovely and decaf i love you both all right i need to stop and wait for a second see if that anaconda's still coming i'm sure it will be anything ahead no oh my gosh you know what we might i think we've lost the anaconda run run val run I honestly thought I was deep in the doo-doo then. <sighs> oh no, what's that? Oh, it's just a goblin. An old hardened goblin. Look, we can outrun him as well, I think. I hope, anyway. I don't see very many goblins around anymore. Yeah, he's slow. Looks like Dobby. Another tower there as well. Can't see whose it is. But I feel like we're now coming into an area where there are more towers around. 5-8. Uh, the name, 5-8. Wonder if that's their age. If it is, they're older than me. I think we're going to call for a, a quick mouthful of water there was some uh, tough things just then troll on the left i saw him at the corner of my eyes i was drinking just there like i say you you get a knack of seeing things if something creeps up on me you'll know because you'll hear me <gasps> you know that it surprised me Thorns retreat, 246. 2468, never too late. I really need to stop singing, eh? <laughs> well, the video is, is way, way, way over the hour now. What can you do? You guys have got an extra long video. Do with that as you might. Hopefully, you will watch it. Gosh, I'll be so glad to get back home now. I'm not joking. Like I said, I love travelling. Travelling at this speed. Naked with no skills is scary 
not for the faint-hearted, believe me. I would honestly ill-advise as well against someone that hasn't played, doesn't know the game that well, to not do something like this, because I think it could lead to heartache. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm a professional. I'm not. I've been playing a heck of a long time and I know a lot of tricks. I know how to spot things. I know how to avoid things. But as a fresh new player, you might not know these things. And like I mentioned earlier, but you might carry on. Just carry on up the hill in that cart rather than jump off and, and run. In particular, before you get hit. Always, but always try not to get hit. Okay. Chocolate cookies. They're nearly all gone. This might be the end of them. Let's see. Nope. There's a little, little bit left. They'll be gone. Next, there's probably going to be enough there just to feed us again when we get home they'll be gone and we'll be totally a hundred percent out of food so we need to get some farms in the ground maybe do a little bit of foraging botanizing get those farms in but don't forget guys join discord there's a lot of crew there i have different rooms for if you only want to talk about worm i have Worm rooms, Final Fantasy rooms, Old School RuneScape rooms, Lord of the Rings rooms. I have a great place where people are posting pics. There's the general chat. Everyone in there is super friendly and nice. They really are. They are really nice in, in my Discord. I'm not saying they're not in other people's, but I'm just not part of those. I, I just, I can't be part of more than one Discord. And of course... I need to be part of mine. I can be. You can be part of multiple, but yeah, mine pops off a lot. And I, I like to join in conversations if I can. And just generally chit chat to people. But multiple discords for me would be, it'd overwhelm me too much. I would get too anxious. Adriana. Oh, look, guys, I think this, I think we might be able to see our area from up here. At least I think so. I couldn't, I couldn't honestly and truthfully point you to where it is. But, you know, this is, uh, isn't this thorns, but it might be around there. See over there. I think we're over there. I think. By Jove, I think we're only five, ten minutes from from uh, hearth and home. <laughs> Look at all the animals here! Wow. This is why, by the way, you don't see many bison because people have a lot of bison. You don't, you you do see a lot of cows and sheep around because people don't tend to to uh, keep those. Same as bulls, but bison. And horses, yeah. We struggled for those. Oh, where's ours gone? Where's our animals gone? Oh, there they are. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> One of the worm bugs, I guess. Disappearing animals. Okay. Are we have we made Thorns Retreat yet then? This must be Thorns Retreat Thorns Place, right? Thorns Retreat. So now I've actually now I've got to find the way home now. Let me see. Can we find a route? Was it crossroads? Is there a route to crossroads? Yes, 
If I find a route to crossroads this way, it will lead me. Because there was quite a few ways to, to, to travel here. Look, that's a lovely bridge. Okay. See, we are over there, past them trees. Not far past. I have a feeling we could go over here, over this big long bridge. And I think there might be another bridge further down there. Or something of the like. We are definitely not far from home now. I can honestly say I feel like we may have made it, guys. Unscathed, we didn't get hit, which is quite incredible. Scariest moment of it all for me. No word of a lie. The scariest moment of it all for me wasn't even the spider that I had to jump off the cart for. It was when I saw that anaconda coming towards me. Anacondas scare the heck out of me in this game. I wonder, have any of you ever seen a champion anaconda when they're big? I have. Oh my god. They are absolutely terrifying. They're terrifying. They are huge. I'll tell you what else is terrifying. Have you ever been out on the water on a little rowing boat just going along and all of a sudden a sea serpent starts chasing you? I don't think there's much more scary than that. Dying all the way out in the water. I haven't. But dying all the way out in the water on your little rowboat and you have to spawn back on land, the only way to get your stuff back is going to be to get on another boat to go get your corpse. It's going to so be you. Oh. It's been a long, a long video, a long ride this, and you guys know I do tire very easily. But we're getting there, we're getting home soon. I I was about to say, actually, it didn't seem this long on the way there, but of course it wouldn't, because we were moving seven kilometres an hour faster than this. But I, I intended today to try and make the entire journey home, and we're doing it. We're nearly there. You enter Thorn Daughter Crossing. What does daughter mean? Like D O R T R. I really don't know. There's an unfinished obelisk there. Bizarre two, bizarre four, bizarre three, bizarre one. How bizarre! Okay, apparently we're keeping on keeping on. Look at that. That's hilarious. I thought fireplaces only lit in a house. Perhaps I'm wrong. That tells me I'm wrong. All right. We are now crossing... When we go that way, I believe we're going to be crossing the water our side of the big lake slash ocean. I don't really know what we call it, but we're not that far away, guys. Honestly, I feel like we're not now. Five minutes, maybe. Oh, we've got Grooty Boy in local. Should we give Grooty Boy a wave? Let's give Grooty Boy a wave, see if he's uh, responding. I actually know Grooty Boy a little bit. We've done a few trades on my main character. Very, very nice chap. Him and... Oh, God. Oh, no. Guys, what have I done? There was an anaconda right on the bridge. There's Grooty Boy behind us. If that anaconda gets me... and comes off the bridge 
I think we're going to lose it. I don't know. Grooty boy looks like he's trying to get it off me. He has. Whew. Thank you very much, Grooty boy. Well, talk about timing there. Talk about timing. That was... Uh, Fancy an anaconda being right in the middle of that bridge. Goodness me. Guys, I don't recall coming over here. I don't recall this area. We must have. We must have. Gosh, we've travelled a long way. Really, we have. No here HD. Ugh. No here odd or something. Okay. Now I know we're beyond these trees. We are beyond these trees. Let's go! Gosh, how long have we... 1 hour 33. This is a long video, guys. This is going to take me a while to upload, to edit, etc. But worth it it'll be worth it because we'll be home otherwise we would have took like two episodes to do this just to get home what's that up there corpse for freedom isles guard got all the spiders up on the ridge up there So, Grooty Boy, you're going to be famous, mate. You saved my butt. Thank you very much. I say you saved my butt. I don't know if the uh, anaconda would have come off the bridges at me, but regardless, you took it off my backside. Thank you very much. Right. If that is the guard tower that says something about you're safe now or you're safe here or something, then I know we are ultra close to home. I think we are ultra close to home. Nimbus. What is it? It's the new Nimbus 5000 or something. Is it 5000, 2000, 1000? Something out of uh, Harry Potter, isn't? wasn't it one of the, uh, the broomsticks? that they were going on something like that okay that's under construction so now I'm not sure because I thought it was that way that I would be going this is showing up there at the crossroads I'm going to take a risk because I think this is my way I think this is my way. Oh, but do I remember a cotton tent? No. It looks like somebody's just come here. Let's see who. Maybe. Potentially somebody's taking this box. This, There's two tents here, so maybe. Maybe, baby. I'm doing it again. Let's have a look, see who's around here. Uh, the name of the owner. Rygron. Rygron something like that. I apologise for pronouncing it incorrect. You're safe now. Cagulus, yes. I've seen that person in local. Uh, Steen Jensen DK. Steen Jensen DK. Okay. So. This is Cagulus's place then. Let me just, I'm sure we go this way. I mean, I, I'm saying I'm sure, but I'm not, actually. I'm not. You're safe here. Right. Oh, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have come off the road. No, that's the, the clay. Remember I said I'd had a quick look round and I did see some clay. This is it. This is it. 
Okay, I kind of, kind of know where we are now. Our deed is super close. Super close. I've just got to find the way. Come on, come on. Hey, Grooty Boy, wave back. Right, this is the main road, I think. There should be a tower up here somewhere. And then we might even see our, our tent. Okay, there's a guard there. There's another building just here. I just need to get us home. I'm going to start to to say my thank yous now, guys, because obviously <laughs> the video is really long. We're at nearly one hour 40 now. So thank you so much for all watching. Oh, I do know where we are now. I know where we are. We're close. We are exceedingly close. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it, honestly. Uh, if you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a, a like. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Join my Discord. If you're feeling really generous, join my Patreon. You can join any of those in the top banner or in the About section. But yeah. That's our guard tower. Right by us. We're nearly there. Woof. That has been a journey, guys. But we're home. Almost time with our car. Look, I've just seen, I'm sure I've just seen our FSB. I'm sure I have. Just over here, some. Oh, what was that? That's got to be a guard. Yeah. So we, there should be the tar pack there. Look, there. There's our storage bin. And there should be a, a bulk storage bin somewhere near there as well. Unless it's gone. There should be tar just here. Here's the tar, look. Woo! We are home. Homeward bound. That's our tent. We've made it! We did it! No death. Unscathed. We didn't even get touched. I don't know where the bulk... Oh, the bulk storage bin, of course. It's up at the mine, isn't it? Here we are. And watch, you enter Hearth and Home. We are back. We're going to disembark. I'm not going to risk running up the hill. Because I'm not. I don't want to bump into anything. So we're going to eat the rest of that cookie. Look, it's gone. It lasted us. We're done. Let's just make sure that this has took no damage. It shouldn't. No, we're absolutely fine. So that's it then, guys. I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. We're going to end it there. So until next time, you all take care. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye for now. Stay for the credits at the end. Bye-bye.